So hi guys, welcome back again. So in this video, we will continue on. I'm actually gonna look at the making our app uh, a lot more accessible. So Swift UI has some great tools to make your app accessible. And also as well, it's actually really easy to use as well. So let's jump straight into the code and let's make this app accessible. So carrying on from the component that we built previously before, we're now gonna to start to add some accessibility to our view. So the first thing is, is what are we going to do? So what we're basically going to do is we're going to give our image some sort of like label to describe what it is. We're going to give our text some labels and values. And also we want to display the state of our button as well. So let's do that down. So we'll start with the image first. So with the image, uh, we're just gonna simply give it a label because it's an image. It doesn't really have a value. So just to describe it, we're just gonna literally just to say the team name and then badge. So here after frame, we just need to type accessibility label. And then for the text value, we wanna use This, so we want to say team dot name and then dot team dot name and then in the string here we want to say badge. So what this is going to do is depending on the team, it will basically say the team name. So for example, Arsenal badge and then it will be like image. So it's clear to someone what that is. And then if we basically carry on with the text. So the text is a bit different from the image because it has a value and we also want to describe what it is. So we're going to use two, another new uh, modifier called value. So alongside label. So let's do that. So for the team name um, text here, we're just going to give it a label first. So for the accessibility label, we're just going to call, we're just going to create a new text and then we're going to call this team name and then for the value text and then for the value we want it to be the value that's inside of this actual text here so for this we're just going to say team dot name cool and then similar to the team for founded, we want it to basically say founded and then the year. So we're just gonna copy this and then paste it below and then change this from team founded and then change this to team dot founded. And then what we're gonna do is the same thing here. So we want this to read out either manager and then the manager name or head coach and then the head coach name. So for this, we're just gonna do, we're just gonna copy this again and then we're gonna paste it below. And then inside of here, we're gonna use our raw value from our Edom. So let's just delete this. And then we're just gonna put in here team dot manager dot job dot raw value and then for the value we're just gonna put this here so we're gonna say team dot manager dot name so that will read out like head coach um Sean Dyche or manager I don't know Alex Ferguson and then for the information, we want it to basically say information and then the value in this label. So again, we're just gonna paste that below and then we're gonna change this to say information. And then we're just gonna replace this with team.info. Cool, so we pretty much made all of this um, accessible and that did not take a long amount of time. So the final thing we need to do it on is this button here. So depending on the state of the button, we want it to either say play or pause. So what we're gonna do is that now. So let's go to our button here, let's put an enter. But it's also worth knowing that within our button, we actually do have an image component within it. 
So as you can see here, and we, what we want to do is you want to actually ignore this image and just override the whole container. So to do that, we can use a property that with accessibility called accessibility element, and then we can specify how we want it to handle the children for this container. So what I'm gonna say on it is I'm just gonna do accessibility, and then I'm gonna say children, and I'm gonna basically specify dot ignore. So what this will do is it'll literally ignore everything inside of this container, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say accessibility, and then value, and I'm just gonna create a text value here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to basically say if the team is playing, so we're going to use a ternary operator. So if the team is playing, then we want the text here to say pause for the bottom, or else we want it to say play. So if the team is playing, then it will say pause. If the team uh, isn't playing, so if it's false, then it will say play. So you can toggle between the two. Okay, so as you can see, adding accessibility to the app was actually really, really simple. So it's really important that we do this when we're building apps because you need to take into account that some people, you know, have um, some sort of like maybe impairments that make things difficult for them to use the app, whether that's via, you know, color blindness or uh, through visual aids or maybe even like listening as well. So when you're basically designing and building your apps, think about people with these impairments and how you can basically make your app, you know, more accessible. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna look at the accessibility inspector and see how we can actually use this to basically test what we've just done. So let's do that now. All right, cool. So before we actually use the accessibility inspector, the first thing we need to do is actually put this component into our actual app. So the first thing we need to do is go to our content view and all this, all this entire VStack, so everything inside the list, we wanna delete it. So delete the entire VStack and the uh, modifier. And then we wanna create an instance of team card view. And that expects a team. So for now, we're just gonna pass in the property at the top here that we are just using as a placeholder. All right, cool. So I'm just gonna take Xcode out of full screen mode. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run this app on the simulator. So I'm just gonna hit run. Cool. And then in order to test out the accessibility, we actually need to use the tool that comes with Xcode. So to do that, the select Xcode, go to Xcode, open developer tools, accessibility inspector. And what this will do is it'll open up the accessibility inspector for you. So this is the main screen um, that we're gonna worry about. If you just make sure that MacBook Pro is selected and all processes. And then what we're actually gonna do for now is we're not actually gonna get it to speak. Um, so for now, we're just gonna basically show, I'm just gonna show you how to actually select and view elements. And then we'll mimic voiceover where if you hover over an element, it'll actually speak. So to do that, just tap the target icon. And now you see that it's turned blue and you see like there's a green box around anything that you select. And if you just hover over this, you'll see that in the label, it actually says type team one badge. And if we hover over one of our texts, you'll see it will say the label is team name, the value is team one and the type is text. And if we just hover over our button, you'll see it will say play. So, a really good way to test that this is all good and it sounds right as well is to enable speech mode whilst you're doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on speech mode and we're going to inspect and listen to what Xcode actually spits out when we hover over these components. So to do that, you just got to tap this here, speak when the element, uh, speak on the elements and then tap on it. Speak unselected toggle button. And then select the target if that turns off. Speak. Select X scroll as group team one badge image. And you can see that it's explaining to me now and reading it out almost like if I was someone with an iPhone who's using voiceover um, and it would literally describe the element for me. Team name, team one, team founded, 
1800 team manager manager one team information this is some dummy information T team play so you can see there how useful and you know how important it is to basically use this and build this in mind with our apps so that's everything for today's video in terms of accessibility in the next video we're going to carry on building our app and we're actually going to look at how we can actually put some data into the um, app and display it on the screen as always guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and like i always say deuces